Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. I Dr. Nuj Kumar. Today we are going to discuss metal carbene complexes. In last videos, we have already discussed uh, organometallic, uh, uh, some organometallic complexes and uh, metal carbonyl complexes, their chemistry and some uh, uh, typical problems uh, based on the metal carbon complexes. Okay, so today we are going to discuss metal carbene complexes. As uh, the name is indicating, metal and carbene. These are those complexes which formed by the reaction of metal and carbene. Okay, a general definition of these uh, type complexes is that uh, when, um, the compound which contain metal double bond C is known as metal carbon complexes. Okay, so there is two terms. First is metal and second is carbene. So first of all, we are going to study the carbene. Okay, so what is carbene? <coughs> carbene is a organic intermediate which is uh, which is very reactive okay and it has it have two substituents and uh, two free electrons okay carbene what is carbene when carbon attached with two substituents and it has two uh, sorry two free electrons then the species is known as uh, carbene okay so on the basis of these two free electrons or the availability in different different uh, or same orbitals Carbene can be classified into two parts. Okay, first is singlet carbene and third is triplet. What is singlet carbene? So when these two free electrons present in only one orbital, present in only one orbital. So according to the Hun rule, the multiplicity, multiplicity, multiplicity is equal to two s plus one. Where is the s is uh, unpaired electron by two. Okay, so there is no unpaired electrons because both free electrons present in only one orbital. So there is no unpaired electron. So 2 multiply by 0 is equal to 1. So it is singlet. Okay, it is singlet form. Okay, in this case, you can see when these two free electrons present in different different orbitals, not a single lobe. Okay, it is both electrons, both free electrons present in only one orbital, but in this case. These two free electrons present in different different orbitals. So there is two unpaired electrons. Okay. So according to the multiplicity, multiplicity two by s s is equal to two unpaired electron by two. Uh, it is three. So it is triplet carbon. Okay. Triplet. So, so this is triplet carbon. Okay. Now we are going to discuss some uh, structural orientation and hybridization. Okay. If you look here. These two free electrons present in only one orbital. So it acts as a lone pair. A lone pair can be considered as a sigma bond. So here is sigma bond, and here is sigma bond, and here is sigma bond. So there, here is three sigma bond. Okay. So the overall hybridization is sp2 hybridization. When sp2 hybridization and species which contain sp2 hybridization, it should be trigonal planar. So the structure of singlet carbene is trigonal planar. And what about this orbital? This orbital, Pj orbital, Pz orbital is vacant, and this orbital will be perpendicular to this trigonal planar. Okay, if uh, because uh, well, um, suppose that this is carbon, this is uh, E1 substituent, and this is E2 substituent, this is lone pair. So both are in a all atoms uh, are in trigonal planar, and this Pz orbital will be perpendicular okay so this is perpendicular orbital and this is fully vacant orbital there is no electron density okay now we are uh, talking about triplet carbon as you can see here there is two substituents available two substituents available and both free electrons are in different orbitals so when now uh, orbital does it have uh, lone pair so it can't act as a uh, sigma bond so we can't calculate, we can't consider these orbitals as a sigma bond. So the overall only, here is one sigma bond and one sigma bond is, okay. So the hybridization is sp hybridization and the, when sp hybridization, the geometry should be linear. So triplet carbene is linear geometry, okay. And these orbitals are the perpe uh, perpendicular uh, uh, from the uh, perpendicular to the uh, triplet carbene, okay. If now we are uh, if we took uh, if we talk about the stability which one is more stable car carbon okay you can see here here in this uh, orbital two electrons are present so according to the whole rule 
when two electrons present in only one orbital then they, these electrons feel some repulsion okay if repulsion increase then uh, energy of the molecule will also be increased if energy increase then stability will be decreased okay so in this case and here is some uh, repulsion electronic electronic repulsion because both electrons are present in only one orbital and in this case both electrons are present in different different or orbitals so here is no much repulsion so less repulsion energy will be less and stability will be high so if we compare singlet and triplet carbene which one is highly stable so we can say that triplet carbene is more stable okay so this uh, this is the chemistry of carbene now we are going to discuss metal carbene complexes okay so uh, because these are two types carbene so uh, metal carbene will be also two types so we are going to uh, discuss metal carbene systematically on the basis of carbene okay so first of all we are going to discuss singlet uh, carbene when singlet carbene interact with metal when singlet carbene interact with metal then what will be happen okay so uh, if you can see here is the chemistry of singlet carbene interaction with metal as you know metal has two orbitals first is t to g orbital and e g orbital and uh, you know very well we have already discussed a lot on this t to g orbitals always have some electron density and e g orbitals has less electron density as compared to t to g orbital so e g orbital always try to accept the electron density from the external ligand and t to g always try to donate its electron density to become stabilized or to become coordination with another species okay so if you can see here this is singlet carbene singlet carbene has empty total empty uh, pz orbital and this is lone pair because both electrons present in only one lobe okay so this uh, this lone pair will be donated into uh, into eg orbital and form a sigma bond okay and this pz pz orbital is totally uh, is totally empty uh, okay so t2g electron density can be transferred partially into this vacant pz orbital and this process is known as pi back bonding we have already discussed pi back bonding never can form complete bond it is it it's uh, like partially bond okay so what will be the bond order what will be the bond order between car between metal and carbon because here is one complete bond and this is partially bond and this is pi character bond okay so the bond order between metal and carbon will be greater than 1 but less than 2 okay and this carbene is known as fischer carbene uh, is known as fischer fischer uh, because it uh, was discovered by fischer so uh, this uh, this uh, metal carbene is known as fischer carbene okay these are some typical points of fischer carbene you can see here when singlet carbene when singlet carbene interact with uh metal then uh, obtained carbene is known as fischer carbene okay and uh, now if you took about, if you talk about uh, the substituent of singlet carbene always remember because in singlet carbene both free electrons um, present in only one lobe one orbital so this is electron uh, deficient carbene and it can be stabilized by by electronegative element if just like that uh, oxygen nitrogen and uh, any halogen okay so uh, e1 and e2 should be electronegative uh, substituent okay so uh, in fischer carbene what uh, what are the typical points of fischer carbene in fischer carbene the substituent should be the substituent on carbon should be electronegative elements okay and if you look another point metal should be in lower oxidation state if metal in lower oxidation state that mean metal have uh, high electron density in t to g orbital and it can easily form pi back bonding okay so metal should be lower in uh, lower in oxidation state so uh, in fischer carbene metal should be lower oxidation state because if lower oxidation state uh, then it's t to g orbital will have some much electron density and it can easily donate into the vacant orbital of um, uh, singlet carbene okay so in fischer carbene uh, metal will be in lower oxidation state okay now another point is carbon is electrophilic why carbon is electrophilic in fischer carbene okay you can see because carbon always has 
one vacant PZ orbital in singlet, so carbon is electrophilic nature. So this carbon will will electrophilic nature. Okay. So this is the single formula E F E S. You can remember about the Fischer carbon. Fischer uh, carbon. You can remember this point F E S. F for Fischer. E for electrophilic carbon. S for singlet. Okay. If uh, anybody asked about you what is Fischer carbon, then you can say that fish in Fischer carbon, carbon is electrophilic and carbon is singlet carbon. Okay. And you can talk about a lot about this. Okay. Now we are going to discuss another carbon. Another metal carbon. So you can see here, this is triplet carbon. We have already discussed uh, the geometry, hybridization, and position of lone pair, energy, all things we have already discussed. Now we are going to discuss about the interaction of metal of triplet carbon. Okay. So if you can see here, this is metal and this is uh, triplet carbon. Why it is triplet carbon? We have already discussed a lot about this. Okay. So when triplet carbon interact with metal, because metal has to, uh, again, uh, I repeat, um, uh, metal has two orbitals, EG orbitals and T2G orbitals, okay? Suppose, at this time, I'm, uh, I'm uh, talking about uh, supposing, okay? Suppose EG orbital has one electron and T2G orbital has one electron. So you can say that in this case, uh, when uh, car triple, uh, triplet carbon interact with metal, then metal EG orbital will have also some electron density and T2G orbital will have also some electron density, okay? So when uh, this metal come into the contact of triplet carbon, what is triplet carbon? When both electrons are present in different orbitals, okay? This is another orbital and this is another, or another P orbital, okay? And both electrons are unpaired, so in triplet carbon, this this orbital has one electron and EG also has one electron and both both are mixing uh, going to mix and form a sigma bond. Okay, because uh, there is equal contribution of uh, electron density from the from metal and carbon, so it is purely purely sigma bond. But in case of this this uh, what is the nature of this sigma bond? It is called uh, looks like a coordination bond. Okay. Uh, there is no much difference between coordination and covalent bond, okay? Uh, but in case of uh, metal complexes, you can repeat that, uh, you can say that a coordination compound is different, okay? So, this is purely sigma bond and covalent character, okay? Complete covalent character. And, in, in, and another bonding is that uh, its T2G orbital also have one electron and its another orbital also have one electron because we have already formed a sigma bond. So another bond will be pi bond, okay? So this is side by side overlapping. We have already discussed about this in the last lectures. So always this is side by side overlapping. So when side by side overlapping, the pi bond will be formed. You can say, you can see here, it is B, D orbital and this is P orbital. So it is B, P pi bonding, okay? It is D, P, pi bonding, okay? So here is also a complete bond because one electron contribution from the car triplet carbon and one electron contribution from the metal T2G orbital. So overall contribution is two electrons and two electrons uh, is a bond, okay? Uh, so uh, it is complete bond. So what will be the order between bond order between metal and carbon? So you can say here one bond is here and one bond is here. This is sigma bond, this is pi bond, okay? So the overall, the bond order between metal and carbene uh, is two. And this carbene is known as stroke carbene, okay? That one is Fischer carbene and this is stroke carbene. So in stroke carbene, what will be the order between metal and carbon? So you can say that between metal and carbon in stroke carbene, the bond order is complete two. But in case of Fischer carbon, the bond order will be greater than one, but less than two. Okay. We have already discussed in detail about this. Okay. Another thing is that metal should be in higher oxidation state. Okay. Why it should be higher in oxidation state? If, if you can say here, uh, because because PZ orbital, uh, one P orbital of carbon also has some electron density. Okay. So it needs some little electron density. So if metal is in higher oxidation uh, state, then it can donate a partial electron density into the uh, into that orbital which have already one electron. Okay. So in Schrock carbon, metal should be in higher oxidation state. Another thing is that if you can say here, 
This is carbon, this is metal and formed double bond. This is sigma bond, this one, and this is pi bond. I can see, I can write here. This is sigma bond and this is pi bond, okay? If you break this bond, then this pi bond will be shifted on carbon, okay? So it will form a negative charge on this carbon. So this carbon will be, will always uh, a nucleophilic character, okay? So in Fischer carbene, the carbon of carbene is electrophilic. But in shrocarbene, in shrocarbene, the carbon, the carbon will be nucleophilic character. Okay, okay. So uh, in shrocarbene, uh, the the carbon is nucleophilic. Another thing is that what about the substituent of shrocarbene? Okay, it has been observed that these substituents should be electron donating substituent. Okay. Electron donating substituent stabilize the triplet carbon. Okay, so both uh, both substituents should be electron donating uh, 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 substituent. Okay, so if we talk about the short trick about the uh, Schrock carbon, the short trick is SNT. S for Schrock carbon and for nucleophilic character of carbon of carbon and T for triplet carbon. That means in Schrock carbon. Uh, the carbon will be triplet and the carbon will be electro electro uh, sorry nucleophilic character okay and uh, what will be the short trick of fischer carbon fes f for fischer e for electrophilic character s for singlet carbon so okay so this is the all all things about the metal carbon complexes now in next lecture